Want to see something cool? Kickstart that third brain cell because this video is going to curb stomp your cerebral cortex. Electricity doesn't go where you think it does. Toolshed Talk asked me in a comment, why are the neutral and ground buses smaller than the main legs in a load center? Well, Gary, there's two reasons for that. One, they're cheap, and two, because they can. Your house is fed from a transformer with a center tap tied to neutral and ground. For 240, this is easy. In here, out there, and swap that every 8 milliseconds. But for 120, it's more of a mindfuck than an infected mushroom album. Single pole loads feed from either leg and balance out on the bus. When this one is pulling, this one is pushing. This is destructive interference. The waves cancel each other out and the net result is zero. The only load this gets is anything unbalanced, and that's usually pretty small. In very specific cases, you can get it all the way down to zero, but good luck trying that. Ground is just a safety and a reference. It's only there if something goes very wrong and is not designed to handle any constant load at all. But even that little 12 gauge ground will easily handle the full 200 amps in this panel long enough to trip the breaker, and that's pretty cool. 